how's it going guys? My name's Evan and welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. Today we're going to be doing a radiator coolant change on a 2013 smart car. And I already went underneath it and took the front plastic panel off. And there's a special C-clip that needs to be removed. And then there's a tool that threads into a plastic piece to take it out. So most radiators just have a petcock. It's very easy to just unthread it and drain it. This one takes a special tool. And uh, because we don't want to break it and try to do it without the proper tool, we're going to just uh, pump out all the fluid right out of the uh, reservoir. So we have our standard hand pump, and we're just going to pump it out. And if you guys want to do this perfectly, you definitely want to get the uh, proper tool and do that with. Now we just pump it on out. See it coming out here. That's it. Just going to completely drain her down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just fill her up. All right, the first thing we're going to put in is we're going to put in our Dominator Coolant Boost. And what this does is it lowers your operating temperatures, keeps your motor oil cooler, and uh, definitely a good thing to have, especially out here in Las Vegas. So just so you guys know, this system's so small, we're going to be doing this three times on it to uh, basically flush out the full system without draining the radiator. Uh, you know, you can just wait and uh, just get the right tool if you want to, which I recommend. Here, we're just gonna do it three times over the course of uh, probably a month or two, and we'll, we'll basically get it all out of the system. So we're gonna go ahead and just put in our coolant boost. On this engine, we're only gonna use about a third. Very little. That's about it, done. Going to add our low toxicity biodegradable coolant. This lasts five years, 150,000 miles, and we're going to be doing a very low concentration of this since we're in Vegas. You don't need the uh, cold weather protection, and we have all our protection with our our Dominator coolant boost. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in about, I'd say half a quart. Alright, now the last thing we put in is our distilled water. Uh, this is a concentrate, so you do have to dilute this with uh, distilled water. Always use distilled water so you don't get any minerals in the system. We just add our distilled water. There we go. And we're going to go back and fill this reservoir up. Uh, we're going to do that three times to uh, flush out the system. Uh, the full fill in this is about four quarts. 4.1 quarts is initial fill. And uh, this reservoir is probably, I don't know, I would say two quarts. So uh, the radiator probably only takes about two, two and a half quarts. So if we uh, flush this three times, we should get basically all the fluid out but I do recommend you get that proper tool uh, by a Mercedes mechanic. So uh, we really appreciate you guys tuning in, and it's always better to change these fluids earlier than later, uh, and uh, we really appreciate it. We'll see you guys back in the next episode. All right, closing notes. We just got done doing the brake fluid. Everything went really smooth, straightforward. Uh, nothing really else to say about it. This thing's good for another five years, 100,000 miles, and Katie, Really appreciate you helping out. Anytime, even. She pumped the, the brake and uh, pump, open up the valve, flush it out, close it, bring the pedal back up, open it up, push down, and you just repeat the procedure. All right, we'll see you guys back next time. Uh, stay tuned for some more stuff with this thing. And uh, also, we're doing our 20,000 mile Uber Lyft uh, fluid change studies coming back on one oil change. So be sure to check that out. If you guys like this stuff, uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks. We'll see ya.